Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Breakfast Club. Joe Shoup and Joe Norman here now. Good morning, Harold Edwards from Orlando, Florida. Good morning. Good morning. You've joined the Breakfast Club here this morning. Good morning. This is Agaji in Phoenix, Arizona. Hey, Agaji. Welcome to the call. I'm Phoenix. And Good morning. Welcome to the Breakfast Club. As you're joining us, just say hello to us. Tell us where you're calling from. Dallas, Texas. Good morning and welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Am I the only one here? You're knucklehead. I'm a knucklehead in all, California. That's all. Orlando calling in, too. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> hey, good morning. Good morning, Colorado Springs. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Everybody's calling in and saying hello. So what you'd like, what you need to do is hit four star on your telephone keypad before we get going here. We'll be doing it in about 30 seconds. So go ahead and hit four star on your telephone keypad. That will block any place that you have. That will prevent uh, any interruptions. So this is Joe Shoup. You're joining the Breakfast Club. As you're joining us, say hello. Tell us where you're calling from. Conference muted. There we go. I'm unmuted now. Good morning. Joe, everybody else is muted? Yes. Okay. So good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Breakfast Club. Uh, my name is Joe Shoup. Uh, you are here uh, for a couple of reasons. One is because uh, this is a great place to be this morning. We're, uh, we're totally dedicated to educating people on uh, not just a, a, a gold uh, product around, but about learning how to manage a, uh, managing a business, manage a business from home. Obviously, KB is a, a great place to be. But uh, one of the things that we talked about in the email was that you know people do realize the economy has some troubles and uh, that our dollar is in some trouble. And uh, most people think it's just uh, going to disappear uh, without any real effort. But the truth is, you know, we need a solution to it. KB. Vision is a solution to that, and we last night had a wonderful call. Uh, we didn't, but the women's perspective call uh, with uh, Cindy Belmonte and a few of her guests. Uh, in fact, if you would look on there today, Joe, Deanna Kennedy should be on there. If you could unmute her line, it would be great, unless she's already on the speaker code. I wanted to talk to her real quick. She's unmuted. Um, there they go. Good morning, Deanna. Hi, Joe. Good morning. Um, and so we had a few technical difficulties with the voice last night on this particular line. So, um, so anyway, this was a great call last night. I learned a number of things. I learned about ensuring your savings last night, uh, a couple of things. I thought maybe you want to cover that, and I'd like to cover some of the things that were talked about on the call last night and then get over to Joe Norman with some updates. But I do want to talk to you first, Deanna, so if we could just get an idea, of, uh, get, give us an overview of what we heard last night, and some of the, the, the suggestions that we had that from Boomer and from other people that called in and uh, from uh, Margaret and from Hawaii and so on. So uh, I'll just turn it over to you for a little bit and give us some idea what we heard last night. This is becoming a great call. This was really, really good last night. I learned a lot. <laughs> Yeah, it, it sure is. The girls have lots to say, as girls usually do. And um, I think the overall uh, uh, topic of conversation was how we connect with each other and um, the differences that we each have in making those connections. And, uh, you know, everybody approaches it from a, a little different way. And... Uh, just the significant things for each person, which, uh, you know, it turns out to be fun, and you, you kind of take a little bit from what everybody says. And it it almost is, I think, with uh, the women's perspective, it isn't so much that, that the tactic is that different. It's how we each approach it and, and how we as women approach it differently than, than men approach things um, mm -hmm. the, the the actual doing or the actual um, uh, thing that we're that we're um, promoting
promoting isn't that different. It's how we promote it. It's how we approach it, which is different from a woman's perspective. Yeah. Um, I liked what, uh, I guess it was Cindy that talked about, uh, you know, people talking to people about they have car insurance, they insure their home in case of something, uh, 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 a case of a, 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 a catastrophe or a, an issue, a car accident, yeah, health insurance, but yet do you have protection for your savings account, for your savings, uh, insurance for your savings? I thought that was a very interesting perspective. Well, yeah, and that's 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 basically my point there, too, because I've discovered that, um, and I think uh, the girls have been talking about this, is that this program isn't as much of a savings account as it is a protection of your savings. Mm -hmm. That's actually more important. Um, it, it, It certainly is a savings, of course, because you're you're, put, you're, you're putting your money into a specific place that um, is, is gathering value uh, in that uh, the, the gold increases in value, but it also is protecting what you have, which yeah. from a woman's perspective is that's the value. That's, that's, yeah. that's the nurturing part of it, the gathering part of it, um, what we're trying to protect. Well, I want to I encourage everybody to get on these calls. We that call is once a month, and we've we're increasing in numbers on that call. And I just want to encourage everybody to mark your calendars the first Wednesday of every single month at at 8 p.m. Eastern to come in and listen to what these women are talking about. And uh, it, it's I just think that they can help you and get that different perspective. And who knows, maybe we'll do it more, more often than once a month. Right now, it's once a month. But don't miss this call. Spread the word and get here on the first Wednesday of every month. So, uh, Deanna, stay with us. Uh, we'll keep you unmuted for some comments and some dialogue with us. But I want to go over to Joe Norman now. And, Joe, any anything that we can look forward to, any new updates or anything? Oh, yeah, big-time updates. Um Good. We now, when you go to kb-vision.com, it's under maintenance, and that is what we've been waiting to see. That means they're uploading the new software, the new accounting software, the new calculation of commission software. Uh, We'll be able to drill completely down through your organization, see the points, see who's buying, who's not. Um, uh, Real-time everything is going to be there, as well as the much-awaited welcome pack the starter okay. pack, every, every affiliate, even old, crusty, veteran KB affiliates like Big Boomer Dan Geromo will be able to go in and buy one time and one time only. Everyone will have the option of buying as few as one of the one gram cards and get immediate delivery on it and up to three of the one gram cards. That way you don't have to bite the bullet and 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 pay for 10 of the, the one-gram cards, which up to this point has been the only way you could get immediate delivery. So this is coming. It's imminent. It's happening now as we speak. So later this afternoon, uh, the guys just need to spread the word. And if I also might uh, add to what uh, you said, at, uh, at Deanna, uh, and, and, and I, I've really, I, I really am blown away at what you girls are doing and and joe as you mentioned uh, a couple of times the last few weeks and i think it needs to be really emphasized is that in this industry and i really don't like to lump kb in with all the other mlm juices lotions potions what what have you this is different this is an affiliate program there's no enrollment fees and so on there's a lot of things different with this but as joe you said the backbone of this industry traditionally and the majority of the top success stories and income earners, they're ladies. Mm-hmm. And I think there's a I, – I, I didn't hear it, you know, the old adage, you, you've got ears to hear, but you don't hear. I didn't hear it the first few times, and I finally heard it the last time. And I've really been sinking my teeth into why is that? Mm-hmm. Why? I mean, why are girls dominating this industry like they are? And, and here, here's, 
You guys have seen David Letterman on television. He has his top ten list. I've got a top ten list that I put together, and if you'll indulge me just for a few more short minutes, Joe, I want to go through this and see how this resonates. Oh, yeah. First, first and foremost, at the top of the list, women are frugal with capital. Yeah. I mean, who, who, who is better an expert at stretching a household dollar? Who is able to, to I mean, are, are guys experts at getting things on sale? Women are able to get more for less and have been for a long time. So that's in line, Joe, with your number one reason businesses fail is lack of money or, or they're, they're careless with their money. Women excel in that department. Number two, good record keeping. You know, you show me a successful family, and I'll show you a successful, organized woman. You know, God help me if I didn't have Sally. God help you, Boomer, if you didn't have Claire. I know that's true. <laughs> you got that one right. And they're good at keeping records of what go, you know, grocery lists, and just when kids need to be, it, it just goes on and on and on and on. They're excellent at record keeping. And here's, here's an area number three, and I think this is open for debate, but this is a, a, a number three in the top ten list of activities of a successful business, and that's having a great tax strategy. And I think a lot of times, at least the, a lot of the ladies that I speak with, that's an area that they need to work on, but that's number three on the list. And number four, written goals, and that's kind of in line with record keeping. But uh, number five, finds upline support that's ready, willing, and able to aid, support, and assist. You know, most ladies don't work by themselves. They work in groups. And, boy, are they ever effective at working at groups. And then number six, marketing plan provides a constant supply of new prospects. You've got Taylor doing cold calls. You've got Deanna doing what she does. You've got Cindy. I mean, these are all experts. They all have kind of a different approach. But the one thing they're all doing is they're constantly marketing, getting this in front of people. Number seven, always improving their people skills. You know, girls, very few of them ever have the ego problems guys do. Well, gosh, why should I read that book? I'm already all that in a bag of nuts. Well, girls don't have that kind of attitude. They're always improving with, other, with whatever time they have. It seems like they have books. They're reading books. They're on the Internet. They're, they're online and offline, always improving their people skills. Number eight, they're consistent and they never quit. And that goes back to being, you know, a great wife and a great mother and a great whatever it is they do. It's, it's just in their DNA. They are just consistent and they never, ever quit. Number nine, they follow up consistently with prospects. And number 10, attend live events regularly. And I'll just tell you, Joe, right now, without even being there, you know, KB has announced eight cities in three weeks. And if we just sit in the back and look at all the heads, you'll see more women than men, won't you, Joe? Oh, I no question about it. Uh, there, there's absolutely no question about it. I thought it was interesting last night that, uh, and I'm just going to say it like this. You usually, when our calls go long, uh, you can see the people hanging up, okay? People have stuff to do. I understand that. We probably need to, you know, be under an hour. And uh, the women's call last night, uh, I think one person, maybe two, left uh, after the – normally we would have had ten leave. They had two. They were so interesting and, uh, you know, things that they had to say. And the men that were on that call will tell you it was – very, very good. Yes, it's mostly women. I think it's 82% women in this industry in the home business arena, 87% are part-time, something like that. It used to be that way, and I'm sure it's changed a little bit, but that's normal. Yes, you're going to see that you're going to see mostly women. Yeah. Well, you, you know what, Joe? Women don't let their ego get in the way of their income. <laughs> and, you know, on the call last night, I, I learned – you know, I need to stress how to, they can utilize just one hour a day in a busy per, woman's schedule with all the stuff that they got going on to utilize that to, to build, to, to help increase their, ca their cash flow through our business, residual income, 
and the, the business deductions that a home business offers for them. Well, that's all. We need to tighten that up big time. But, you know, Boomer and Joe, the guys, us guys, we're always the ones out front making all the noise. But the gals, they're the ones in the background that are working behind the scenes that are getting everything done. Yep. Well, uh, interesting. What do you say to that, Deanna? Well, I'm, as as I'm listening to this, I'm, I'm I'm thinking if you actually look out into the occupations of the world, women are usually the teachers, which is you know you feed one woman something and she'll go out and share it with all of her friends, um, her family, her relatives. Uh, you know, at least a half a dozen people. That's what we do best. And I think that's why I always say that women are natural networkers. We can't help it. It's, it is the way we're wired. I always, uh, my catchphrase to our team, Tom Richardson's and myself, is if you don't quit, you win. And, and I think that's what, what we're good at. I think that's women don't. Uh, just try something and then give up. Um, if we decide on a team, we actually believe that that is the moment of destiny. We put everything in it, 100%, and we don't quit. Um, we want the best for ourselves and the people that we're nurturing. And I think that's, that's why, and in this home-based arena um, of of, of working from home, we're used to that. I mean, we're, most of us have been, we've raised children. We've, we've been in our home. We've worked outside of the home, but our lives revolve around home. So to bring um, a business, uh, that's second nature to us. And, and yeah. just like uh, Joe Norman said, all of those top ten reasons are the reasons we're successful homemakers and mothers and wives mm. and friends. Well, and not only that, but I and I couldn't figure a way to weave this in there, but this needs to be mentioned too, is it's wired into women's DNA to be nurturers and always seeking safety for not only themselves and their household, but their children. I yep. mean, you guys just tenaciously defend your kids. You're, you know, not that guys don't, but, you know, mm-hmm. it's just wired into your DNA. And with KB, our program offers safety, security, a hedge against inflation. And historically, since 1969, it has proven statistically you know, as Bill Parcells, the great football coach for the New York Giants, says, you are what your record says you are. And what Gold's record since 1969 says? It says 11% average annual return. It's outperformed every single asset class. All of them. All comers. It's taken on all comers, and it's at 11% average annual return since 1969. So that plays into a lady or a woman's safety, security. They can, with confidence, recommend KB because we know history says that this is a safe place to park your money. The stock market has been risky. It hasn't returned nearly 11% since 1960. Yeah, there's been years it's done better, but all averages. I'm just talking averages here. So the KB, I think you're going to see record-setting incomes, record successes, and I and I will go so far as to say the majority – of the top ten income earners in time will be women. I agree. You know, I, I think we're pretty much mama bears about anything that we put our, our set our, our hearts on or uh, use as goals. That that's how we are. So you know what that tells us, guys? You better plug into this call and listen to what they have to say so that you can get better 
at integrating a effective communication with women because they are going to drive your business. Yeah, and 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 I I was kind of on a creative binge this morning, and and I wanted to finish what what kind of was on my mind as I woke up this morning. But you know, guys and gals on this line, KB Vision affiliates, we've got three basic strategies to realize profits from this business. In other words, here's three basic core income-producing activities. Number one, everyone, without exception, should have a personal gold account. Everyone, without exception, should be on a monthly savings plan. Everyone, without exception, knows in their heart of hearts that they need to save more money. Well, with an 11% average annual return at your back and in the books, there is not a reason in the world why you can't scrape together 75 U.S. dollars and buy a gram of gold. There's no reason. That's correct. So fundamental number one is the strategy to realize profits is set up a gold account, and when gold goes up, so does your account value. Now, just think about this. This is profound. Think about this. Where else can you make money in this industry by simply buying the company's product and storing it in a safe place? Think about that. You, you can't. You, you cannot do that anywhere else in my 22 years in this industry. No. Uh, there's no other product that has ever been able to do that. Now, in my opinion, Joe, that is the footer and the foundation for the house. Now, whether you're a customer, an affiliate that's mildly serious or very serious, that's your footer and foundation is our monthly mm -hmm. savings plan. Mm -hmm. There is no doubt that's your foundation. Now, I agree. to expand on that, here's two more. Income-producing activities. We earn monthly bonuses and residual income when we find others, people you know, people you meet. This includes individuals, families, and business entities, both for-profit and non-profit. When you find them and help them set up or create an account and buy gold from KB, you're going to earn monthly bonuses and residual income. So that's another income-producing activity that's optional in addition to and in conjunction with your footer and foundation, which is buying gold from KB on a monthly savings plan. And last but not least, and this is huge, this is monster huge, KB affiliates can create leverage by locating, setting up, and working with businesses that are already involved in the precious metals industry at some level. Brick and mortar locations that are already dealing with buying and selling gold jewelry, coins, bars, and ingots, Joe, Boomer, Deanna, are a yes waiting to happen. There you have it. Three. Yep, I agree, Joe Zeppi. That is, uh, you know, these are these are key things. Uh, I mean, this is these. This is, you know, so it, it comes down to, and this, the women were very clear last night uh, uh, about what it takes to make this happen. Yes, we have social media. Dan's doing a great job teaching people how to go find the people to talk to, and uh, you know, they were talking about, well, we we have to communicate with people, and you know, these are the things you need to communicate to people. What are the features and benefits? Why would they come to our program? And you're stating these reasons right now. And, but we need to communicate with people, and it's one of the things that people have just to, you know, the, one of the, uh, the girls, I guess it was, um, let me check my notes here. I should know who was on that call. And uh, the guest on that call was Deborah. I wouldn't say Deb. Uh, I know her name. Somebody help me here. Um, Deborah Rappel. It was Deborah, right? Deborah Rappel. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, Deborah. Yeah, very yeah, skilled, that's very skilled Deborah. marketer. Yes, and that, that's what she talked about. She goes, look, it doesn't matter if it's cold market. Cold market's a great place to be. You just have to find people to talk to. It doesn't matter if you know them or don't know them. She likes it because it was a stable place to be, and the people that you didn't have to worry about, you know, uh, rejection. You didn't have to worry about feeling bad. But you don't know the people. 
So anyway, that's just one avenue, and you know I like the cold market, so I'm, I'm prejudiced to that. But she talked about the communication, and this is what we're talking about here, is to, is to get that message to them using the tools and be able to. Even though we have tools, Joe, people should be able to say, you know, the basic strategies, talking about, you know, in our company, when you buy the product, you actually are making money because history shows gold to, be, uh, to go up in value. Uh, whether you sit on it to sell it to somebody else or why not. You can sit on it like, like no other product and actually make money. But uh, anyway, buy and make money. And these things that you mentioned, this is just so important. And we have to communicate that message to people. Okay. Actually, if I want you to consider the, the uh, reverse engineering of that. Not just making money. We are at a precipice in our economy where actually we are just – preserving the buying power of the money, which is reflected in the advancement or acceleration um, of our gold accounts. It is merely preserving. It is a reflection of the loss that occurs in the paper money that people have today as opposed to just making money. We are preserving it yeah. in reflection to the loss. That we that people that don't have a KB account will be experiencing. Yeah. Well said, Boomer. You always say these things with the professional. You know, you play, make it you make it sound, uh, you know, like it's supposed to sound. You know, simple and easy. Well, anyway, um, let's uh, let's do this. And Joe, if we open up any questions people might have, no matter what it is, let's open that up and. Uh, uh, to raise your hand, five star on your telephone keypad. Any questions you might have, let's go in that direction and see uh, if we can get some questions answered and we can get done early today. I have a question here. Uh, the area code starts with 612, ends with 5061. Uh, what's your first name? And that would be Minnesota, Bob Flynn, uh, a friend of Deanna. Okay, Bob, um, welcome to the call. Hey, Bob, it's Joe. Guys, welcome to the call, Bob. Oh, hi, Joe. Hi. Um, I happen to be a male. I, that came across or not, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> so I, I, hear, I hear what you're, what you're saying, uh, uh, that it seems that women have a natural affinity for some of these skills. I do want to point out men can learn. <laughs> uh, for example, if empathy is more of a natural talent for women uh that's good for them but uh it's a learnable skill um you know if if somebody's naturally good at, at basketball that's okay that doesn't mean that you always have to be bad you actually might be able to go practice and if you notice how women and i didn't hear the conversation last night because i fell asleep in the chair um but um women display empathy uh, they don't talk so much about here's the percentages on the gold. If you notice, the male conversation is always here's the facts about the gold. Well, women know that, but they also know that they help people visualize that they understand how their life feels, and then they help people visualize how their life will feel safe or they'll feel smart. And it's not that the intellectual part of it isn't important women have that but men tend you know the the what men are from venus women from mars or whichever you ask a man a question and he tends to tell you what to do you ask a woman a question and she tends to say oh tell me more about that so i don't know if that's in defense of men i'm just i guess i'm saying we can we can learn to have a two-way conversation which is what communication is versus calling it communication and just talking at somebody that, that is correct. And communication is only what the other person perceives, not necessarily what you are trying to communicate. And so, hey, Bob, the first thing, never tell a woman that you fell asleep in the chair. <laughs> Honey, I was working hard figuring out how I'm going to help get you out of that job. <laughs> and all you have to do is say, I understand it probably upsets you when I fall asleep in the chair, but um, um, I know that you work hard, too, and sometimes you're tired. I wish you, if, I, if I do my job well enough, you'll be able to sleep in the chair. 
So it's just a matter of putting it in their perspective. That's all. So, but anyway, that was I was listening to this, and and understanding that women display empathetic behaviors. They not just feel it, and those empathetic behaviors are something us guys can learn. Uh, we can discipline ourselves. So that's my. Hey, opinion. Deanna, are you still there, Deanna? I am. Uh, why don't you uh, give us a little uh, uh, background on Bob? I mean, let people know what we're dealing, what we're talking about, and dealing with here, please. Oh, Bob is one of my best friends. Um, he he has worked uh, with people all of his life, and uh, he's someone that just walked into my life, and uh, we we just he he is such an easy person and. To, to relate to, to communicate with and to. Um, and that's his, that's his gift, is that he communicates well with people on any level, in any place. And there's so much to be learned from that. So, uh, you know, because I like to, to communicate as well, like to talk and, and interact, um, it's just been a, a, a wonderful friendship. So, what is, what is his background? Like, tell us about um, his background. Well, Bob can speak for that himself. But he's he's been with the uh, work for I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, Bob. But 25 years with the Wilson Learning Group. Yeah, I was with the Wilson Learning Company for 25, and then I've been off on my own for 10. Um, maybe the well, if you say, if you would say. When you talk to people the way women talk to people, I would be very complimented because it's. I've spent 35 years um, when my daughter was in Montessori. They were going around and saying, what do your parents do for a living? And she said, my daddy teaches people to be nice. And so I guess that's what I do, but it's always from the point of view of performance. Are you selling more? Are you creating more, but people perform because they're also fulfilled. They have a sense of self-esteem. They like what they're doing. They like the people they're with. And so the approach to, to helping people do something different is helping them visualize how their life will feel, not just what their bank account will look like. And so that's, that's what I do, whether it's sales or negotiations or management or conflict management. No, and you go into that. corporations, correct? Right. Uh, yes. Yeah. And teach yeah. that. So, so it's, uh, it's a little hard to explain in a in a minute, but it's it's about whatever the whatever the business is. It's it's about first of all getting people. Well, I mean, one of my common questions is, what's the purpose of a business? To which everybody says, make money. Well. If you pick up the phone and talk to somebody or you walk into somebody's door or you're at a party talking to somebody and they get the sense that you're really your purpose is to make money off of them, people smell that. They sense that. My real purpose has to be to help them solve a problem, to help their life be different. And if they understand that that's my intent, which makes me have a more empathetic connection with them, I'm going to do a lot better in getting them to listen what I have to say that that might make them might make them money. So, so that that's always the approach. You know, have you connect? Have you looked at this from the buyer's point of view or the employee's point of view? Um, and if they sense, and we're pretty sensitive to that, they sense that you're you're doing it for your reasons to make a buck. They almost got to walk away to protect themselves. So, how is that for unclear? <laughs> very good. It's perfect. I think it's very clear. All okay, right, good. So, so uh, Joe, any other questions on the board here? Uh, I don't. Oh, I see one, uh, but that hand was raised from the time we opened the line, so I think he might have, he or she may have done that accidentally, but maybe not. Let's try 410 is the area code, and it ends with 1135. You have your hand raised. I just unmuted your line. Do you have a question for us? No, Joe. I, I just accidentally hit it. Okay, who is this? This is Joe Kabusak from Columbia, Maryland. Oh, Joe. Okay, you accidentally hit it. Okay. 
Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, no question then. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, mute your line again and unlower your hand. If anybody, Joe, you just hit question again there. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, got you muted again. And uh, if you have a question, what you need to do is press five star. Five star will raise your hand. I'll see that. And I'll unmute your line. There's a question. I got it. Unmuted the line for area code eight zero six eight six three two. Yeah. Uh, who's this? This is Usha from Dallas, Texas. Who? Usha. Okay. What's your question? I think. Yeah, I was just wondering. You know, um, well, prospecting people really want to know. How soon they will make commissions? How would you answer that question? Well, that's very simple. It's all about understanding the commission cycle. The commission cycle every month runs, it starts on the 11th of each month and ends on the 10th. So we have four more days, and this commission cycle will end. This commission cycle will pay us. Our commissions will be calculated and paid out November 1st. So basically, in two and a half, three weeks after it ends, they pay out the money. Yeah, but how... how I mean, when they, uh, like, for instance, if I uh, make my monthly purchase uh, for the first time this month, when can I expect to be paid, and uh, what would it depend on? Well, first of all, you do not get paid on your own purchases. That's illegal, and mm -hmm. they cannot do that. But let's say, uh, like a lot of us are doing, we have an account personally, and then we register our wife or our spouse and we make the bigger purchases through that position, and then that way we earn a commission from the account from our spouse. And a lot of us are making a commission equal to amount that makes your gold for free on, with your position. And as I said, you'll get paid on the following first if you do that. So even if you have only one person uh, making a monthly purchase under you, you can make a commission on it. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, it's a, if, it, if it's a monthly purchase plan, yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? If you have a question, press five star, and that will unmute, or that will actually raise your hand, and then I'll unmute your line. Five. Star, who's next with a question? There's one. We've got area code five zero three, and it ends with five zero five seven. Your name, please, and uh, what's your question? My name is Janae Allen from Oregon, and uh, I actually okay. caught Joe Norman's information off Facebook and kind of. I uh, was inquiring through him, and I'm following gold and silver prices a lot on a lot of different blogs online and different websites, uh, following what's going on with their currencies all over. So, oh. uh, um, you Lost your sound there for a moment. Go ahead. Okay. So this is the only company I found that um, you can actually get involved with to sell the gold. Uh, so I find that kind of exciting. Um, I understand it's a real big need right now for people uh, due to the volatility of the market and so forth. I just, I've just i been watching some KB videos. I just want to know how I can get dialed in um, with people in the company because I was told there was only Joe Norman and that's it in this area, and well, in the States, the United States. So is there how many active members are, are you know, selling this product? Last, the last numbers we got was about 40,000 here uh, in North America, and uh, we, we probably have uh, between fifty and 60,000 worldwide, so it's just, uh, as you know, people, veterans of the industry, you really don't reach a momentum phase until you have a half a million. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, that we, we've got a long way to go, and uh, we've only been launched since, uh, was late April, uh, early May, is when we launched the United States and Canada, so we're just... Uh, a few months into this thing, and uh, we're seeing just phenomenal growth. Uh, mm -hmm. We had, uh, just with our organization, 25% uh, sales growth last 
cycle, commission cycle, and uh, this commission cycle, it's going to be closer to 50%. So uh, we're growing fast, and the only thing you need to do, Janae, is just plug into the pulse and the heartbeat, and, uh, you know, the live events are all listed uh, at mykbgold.us. You go to that, that website, everyone should have it bookmarked, and you should go there Uh, Mouse over the More tab, affiliate training tips. Uh, You've got the live event schedule listed there every day. Uh, It's got all the live events listed. Mm -hmm. And then you also, if you're serious about this business, you should be in our Skype chat room. If you are not, you're you're at a, a tremendous tactical disadvantage because all the breaking news is posted there first. Uh, Boomer and, and uh, Joe, I just posted the uh, the top ten list with the three uh, foundational components in there. I just posted those where people can copy and paste them into emails and think you know it's just the it's the heartbeat of our entire operation. There's no doubt. We've got eleven rooms. Most of them are maxed out with three hundred people in them. So we've got three thousand plus people that we uh, have real time chats with. Yeah, I use Skype because my family lives in Arizona I'm, and so forth, so I, I use it all the time, actually, so I'd be, be happy to... Um, what, what's your Skype ID? Um, it's J for my first name, and last name is Allen, A-L-L-E-N. Okay. And then it's 800-800. All right. I'll, uh, I'll do a contact request, and I'll add you to the room. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, because I'm, I'm pretty interested in this, and... Um, you know, I, I was kind of surprised to see a multi-level marketing company that's selling gold. I think it's pretty cool, actually. Well, um, it's not an MLM. It, it's not. No, if it was MLMs have enrollment fees, purchase okay. requirements, and a lot of things that this does not have. But do you so, still? I mean, you can still build with teams and so forth and oh, make yes. overrides. Oh, oh yes, oh yes, absolutely, Janae. You can you can uh, uh, contact me after the Breakfast Club, and I'll fill you in on a lot of those details. But uh, um, okay. yeah, the, I mean the Breakfast Club is you know we want to kind of keep on on task here. So okay, sorry. Uh, oh, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, hey, Joe. Who, just to touch on that for a minute, yeah, and you know that what separates us from an MLM company really is. Uh, I mean, there's a lots of flavors that are there because certainly we we are looking to build and find locations, what I call people locations. We find, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, people who want to have a successful business from home. And, of course, that translates to recruiting people uh, who want to learn how to be successful here with KB Vision. And so, yes, there's the element of actually the foundation, obviously. No one gets paid unless product or service moves. From in, right. in any business, anywhere. So people certainly want to purchase gold. They want to go out and find people who, A, want to purchase gold, B, want to also find other people who want to do exactly the same thing. So that, that element is still the same, but what Joe's trying to mm-hmm. say is what separates us. There are, there are no fees uh, to join our company, unlike many companies. There's no fee to join. There's no costs of anything except open a free account, start purchasing gold, find others who want to do the same where we are. Yeah, there's no monthly amount of inventory you have to keep on your end to keep your nope, service nope. or whatever. Okay. Absolutely not. It's not a pay-to-play. Multi-level <laughs> marketing, if you don't pay, you can't play. Yep. Right. Correct. That is true. I'm in another one, but, I, I, you know, the gold thing has kind of gotten me going because I follow fiat currencies all the time, and I'm pretty aware of what's going on going on a global level. I don't think most Americans even still have quite a clue what's really happening um and i follow like bob chapman and a lot of different people i don't know if you guys follow any of those oh, guys yeah. but oh yeah oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well and I, you know, I just, Janae, the sheep are getting led to slaughter here and and people have eyes but they can't see they have ears but they can't hear they don't they don't get it and no they don't it's simply because they just don't have the financial intelligence it's not their fault but mm-hmm. no one has ever sat them down and given them an economic 101 basic fundamentals. You know, any household knows if you spend more than you're taking in, bad things happen. <laughs> Great. Very bad. <laughs> yeah. You know, I think, I think really, truly with this economy and people's money is uh, they don't want to believe they're under so much pressure and austerity right now, and it's going to get worse, and they don't want to believe that they might have to make some major changes 
and, and a major change is going to be your currency. And unfortunately, people can't get over the fact they need to pull their money out of stocks and do this and that and put in gold and silver. They just can't wrap their head around it. It's too uncomfortable for them. You know? Well, and, I, and a lot of times, Janae, it's because they have a stockbroker that's desperately trying to keep them in, in, in the full and telling them that gold and silver prices are, are peaked out. And they're, you know, all the reasons why that that gold and silver is not a good investment and trying to keep, because they, they have a selfish motivation. Rather than doing the right thing, uh, they're right. not licensed to sell gold and silver. Therefore, they're only going to promote things that they're able to make money with. And that was the case with my own dear mother, who mm-hmm. we finally fired her financial uh, planner. And his, I mean, he's just, I mean, her portfolio has just been devastated because of this guy. And he uh, uh, finally got, got kicked him to the curb. We set her up with a with a, her own Schwab account. We're self managing her own account, and so far this year, it's up about twenty percent. So, um, oh, good. Well, yeah. you know, a lot of people don't. They don't really. They trust their financial guys, but I mean, I even went to some people in my family right now that have a lot of money, and I said, you need to start putting a lot of it in gold, and and they won't listen to me, and they're like, no, my financial guy says that. You know, I said. It, it, it's their self-interest, like you said, and I get so frustrated because I'm scared they're going to lose everything they have yep. or close to it. Absolutely. <laughs> well, it's refreshing. And, again, here we go, Joe, Joe Shoup. Here's another lady that uh, gets it, and she is uh, – I uh, hear it. I'm just of- about to say that. I'm just yes. about to say, isn't it interesting that we have a a, a – a young lady who understands, who gets it, gives her perspective, and uh, comes on here. And so congratulations, Janae, for coming in. Thank you for coming in here and talking the way you are, because people should hear a brand-new person who, A, does follow precious metals, follows those things, and then uh, comes in here positively talking about, uh, you know, how nice it is and refreshing to see a company who can offer an alternative. Pretty good. Thanks, Janae. You're welcome. I just you're welcome. Like contact back. request on Skype, Janae, by the way, and if you accept it, I'll add you to the Skype room. Thank you so much. I really, and is there a con? Do I just stay in touch with Joe, or who do I talk to if I have questions? I can just call. Well, someone. just uh, uh, you, you can. Just, uh, we can. You can Skype me, and and uh, we'll, we'll after the Breakfast Club is just not the the, the place to discuss that right now. But uh, we, we'll find out who who uh, referred you, and and uh, go from there. Okay. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. Okay. Okay, Jay, does that be any more questions there? We're gonna we're gonna shut down here and say goodbye I to everybody. See have... No more questions, Joe, so uh why don't you uh, wrap things up and uh okay. we'll uh, we'll get on down the highway. Well thank every I thank everyone for being here and uh your perspective and uh, don't forget about mark that calendar for next month uh, with the women's perspective call here at K V Vision and uh join that call, participate, you know, and get involved with that and uh, let's let's make that a successful. It already is, but let's make it a very, very, very successful and a more successful uh, call. And come in and listen to the women. They have lots of good things to teach us. Um, and so, Joe Norman uh, uh, and uh, Boomer, thanks for being here. As always, uh, great being on a panel with you guys and uh, and learning myself. So, everybody, have a great day today. Thanks for being here, and uh, we'll see you at the top. Thank you.